In the coin change problem, we are given a set of coins and a target amount. Each coin is available in unlimited supply. Our goal is to find the total number of ways to make the given amount using these coins. For example, if the target amount is 5, and we have coins of denominations 1, 2, and 5, we can form the amount in four ways. First, we can take five ones. Second, we can take three ones and one two. Third, we can take one one and two twos. And fourth, we can take just one five. So in this case, there are four possible ways to make up the target amount. Without wasting time on the naive and inefficient approach, let's directly build the solution using the bottom-up approach. If you're not familiar with dynamic programming, I recommend checking out the video on dynamic programming first. First, we will initialize an array with a size 1 greater than the target amount. In this case, that means a size of 6, covering indices from 0 to 5. Each index in this array represents an amount value. We will set all elements to 0, except for the first one, which will be set to 1. This represents that there is only one way to achieve an amount of zero, by selecting no coins. Next, we will start iterating over the coins, beginning with coin 1. For each coin, we will also iterate over the array. At each step, we check how many coins are needed to form the corresponding amount. Since the current coin is 1, it will take one coin to make an amount of 1, two coins to make an amount of 2, and so on. The algorithm updates the current element of the array by adding the value from the position that is one index before it, corresponding to the current index minus the coin's value. In the next iteration, the algorithm moves to the next coin and checks how this coin can contribute, along with the previous coins, to form the target amount. Since this coin has a value of 2, the iteration starts from 2 because we can't use this coin for amounts less than 2. The algorithm then updates the current value by adding the value from two indices behind, representing the number of ways to form the amount if we include the coin with value 2. Similarly, in the final iteration, the algorithm checks the coin with a value of 5. This iteration starts from index 5 because we can't form amounts smaller than 5 using this coin. At this step, the algorithm adds the value from five indices behind to the current position. Since that value is 1, the final result becomes 4, giving us our answer. The space complexity of this problem is proportional to the target amount. The time complexity is proportional to the target amount multiplied by the number of coin types. This same problem is also asked in one of the leak code questions. The code for this is very simple. First, we define a function that takes the list of coins and the target amount as input. We start by initializing an array with a size 1 greater than the target amount. All elements are set to 0, except for the element at index 0, which is set to 1. Next, we run a loop over the given coins. Inside this loop, we use a nested loop that iterates from the coin's value up to the target amount. In each iteration, we update the current element by adding the value from the position at current index minus the coin's value. Finally, we return the value at the last index, which gives us the total number of ways to form the target amount.